This is Block 10, the 1960s, Section 2, Black Power, with the section King's Assassination. Although Martin Luther King's influence declined as the 1960s wore on, he was still the most powerful symbol of civil rights, traditionally understood. You know, civil rights uh, as mainstream equality uh, with white America, not, you know, separatism and extremism. Uh, although radicals, you know, had spent the last, you know, ten years denouncing King as Uncle Martin and the Lord uh, because of his, you know, Christian upbringing and his constant appeals to religion, he was still a powerful symbol, especially among white America, uh, of the possibility of racial harmony in the American system. In the late 1960s, King had kind of, you know, he was a creature of the times in a way. Uh, he had turned left, economically especially, uh, and became something of a socialist. Uh, and argued that socialist enterprises were necessary to achieve economic equality, that once political and voting equality is achieved in 1965, Martin Luther King spends the last three years of his life arguing for economic uh, equality, which was a lot, mu a lot, a much more difficult sell to white America. White America, you know, traditionally understands that economic Equality of opportunity uh, is the only thing that's important, that equa equality of result is not something that we do in the United States, that Americans have traditionally believed that if you give everyone a fair shot, there are going to be winners and there are going to be losers, and that's okay uh, with us as a people. Uh, so King's attempt to kind of turn towards socialism was a much tougher sell to white America, although it was an easier sell to black America. Uh, so Martin Luther King started moving away kind of from that centralizing location uh, that he was, you know, between white and black for with his political uh, and civil rights arguments when he started kind of talking about socialism. Um, it led to less support among, you know, that old liberal establishment that, you know, we spent Block 9 talking about. Regardless, in Memphis, Tennessee in 1968, Martin Luther King was shot and killed by James Earl Ray, a white supremacist. Um, he died instantly. Um, you know, the, the, the picture that you see here was taken moments before he was shot and killed. Uh, that's a museum. The, the hotel was turned into the American Museum of Civil Rights. Uh, it's a really neat place. You should go check it out. Uh, the hotel room where Martin Luther King was staying kind of remained exactly what, uh, as it was in 1968. If you're ever in the Memphis area, it's a cool place to check out. It's very powerful because uh, it really kind of talks about, you know, one of the great successes uh, of American history. You know, and although, you know, his dream, you know, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in that nation, you know, that where people were judged on who they are, not what they look like, had been somewhat derailed, you know, by the events of the late 1960s. Uh, he still is definitely one of the most inspirational leaders that America has ever had. Uh, his voice of reason, moderation, uh, and support for the best that we could be. Um, would be sorely missed uh, in the late 1960s and 1970s as radicalism, you know, war and war on. Um, if you're ever in Washington, D.C., this is new. This opened up, I think, last year. This is the Martin Luther King Memorial. It's on the National Mall, uh, right, you know, by the Lincoln Memorial and the Washington Monument and all those, the World War II Memorial. Um, a lot of people don't like it, but I, I sort of do. I, I've never, I haven't seen it. I haven't been down to D.C. since it went up. Uh, but if you know, you ever get a chance to go down to D.C., you know, it's definitely something to sit and reflect uh, in front of. Um, back to 1968, you know, there was more ghetto riots uh, after King was assassinated. Uh, that again led to violence and looting and arson. Again, in the very, you know, black communities that Martin Luther King was trying so hard uh, to to integrate. So, you know, America lost a, a great leader, cut down at his prime, much like Lincoln, um, and we were all the worse off for it.